Welcome to Charting Crypto. It's Wednesday, the 25th of March. Let's look at where our cryptocurrencies are. We're going to take a distant view at this point. We're backing off. You can see up at the top to the left, we are at the weekly chart right now. We can see where Bitcoin topped out back in November of this past year, early November, and then started rolling over. Then at the uh, end of G January, sort of started moving sideways, then popped up there in March, uh, end of March, and then rolled over. And look at where it's sitting right now, the also important 200 EMA. We take a look at Ethereum. It's sitting right there above it also. Now we look at things like Cardano. We can see it's moved right below it. We look at Ripple, same thing, but look at what we have over these last three weeks. We have a slowdown in the go down is what we would call it. What is happening? <clears throat> Are things trying to consolidate after all of these losses? Or is the market just digesting those losses and getting ready to plummet even further. Well, what's very important for us, first and foremost, is what's up with Bitcoin. Bitcoin <clears throat> is like the tide coming into the harbor. When Bitcoin goes up, it tends to carry all these other cryptocurrencies with it, or many of them. Again, when Bitcoin's doing great, other cryptocurrencies are doing great. Well, Bitcoin's not been doing great for many, many weeks, and it's sitting right there. This 200 EMA is something to pay close attention to. You guys know that we use it to determine whether we're looking to jump into long positions or short positions, above long positions, below short positions. And when we look at this weekly, it helps us determine the overall biggest mood of the market. Now, we have the intermediate mood of the market. And, of course, it dropped below, but it's been sliding sideways and is just, again, in a holding pattern. And, of course, we look at the half day, and I really have to range out to show you that. But you can see it is below that 200 EMA. And, again, it's just sort of poking along here on that half-day chart. And again, not giving us any accurate signals right now. Why? Because, of course, it's just sort of ranging back and forth, waiting for something to happen. Where are we going to see that? Well, as we look at what's going on with the weekly and see whether Bitcoin is going to slow down in that down movement and bounce off that 200 EMA on the weekly chart, I'm going to be paying close attention to that. I'm going to be looking also at the two-day and see what it does here. Is it going to simply continue to run along sideways. At some point, we're going to see a breakout, and it's going to bust up or bust down. And I'll be looking at all these charts to see that. But again, remember, the big wave, all things being equal, the market tends to move in the direction of the largest chart. For us, that's the weekly. We'll start seeing hints on where things are going, of course, first on the half day, and then reflected on the two day. I'm waiting to see a breakout. We check out Ethereum, same kind of thing. We check out Cardano, same kind of thing. We check out Ripple, same kind of thing. I mean, you know, we can just start going through these charts and we can see where things have just, just stopped, okay? And we are waiting. We are waiting patiently to see where this stuff is going to go. You can see on these weekly charts, we still got all that downward pressure, still way in the red on the STC, but we are waiting. Something will happen, and things are poised to go one way or the other, and my friends, I can't tell you which way it's going to go. I cannot. I can only tell you we're keeping the powder dry. We're ready, willing, and able to let these charts lead us and that is why, again, you got to be patient sometimes. If you start trying to force trades, you know, those you've been around long enough, those you've practiced traded long enough, you know you can't force a trade. Well, you can, but it's going to get you. We are not into gambling. We're into making things as sure a bet as possible. How is that? By following historic trends, 
going with the flow, letting the charts lead us. Practice. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. Perfect practice makes perfect every day, 10 to 15 minutes. That's all we ask. We love to hear from you. Don't hesitate to reach out to us, cw at chartingwealth.com. And remember, Patreon members get this weekly charting crypto first. And if you appreciate what we do, show us a little love at Patreon. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.